Good morning, family, and welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Friday, August 21st, 2009, and today we're reading 2 Kings chapter 13. And um, there's a couple of lessons you get from this chapter. I'm only going to share with you the, the, what came to my mind first as I was reading through. Uh, so, as always, I encourage you you know, read the chapter through for yourself and see what you get from it. Email us, and we'll put it on our blog. But uh, the first thing I was, like I said, as I was reading this chapter, because it's talking about the king, and um, it says that this king of the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And you know, as we're reading, we're kind of going back and forth uh, between some doing evil, some doing, you know, partially right. Uh, but this one did evil. And what stood out to me was that this is something that we read before, but I don't know why this morning kind of stood out to me that he followed after the sins of uh, Jeroboam, which was the king before. And we see that the pattern is just uh, continuing. When they follow after a king that didn't have a, a good reign or did evil, then they also do evil as well too. But the lesson I believe we can get from this is, you know, when you're choosing to um, follow after someone else or even be mentored by someone or uh, look up to someone and adopt some of their habits or patterns, then you need to look at the end result of what they've done and even the fruits of what they have done to see, you know, what you can expect for your own life. So if you know that King Jeroboam in this scenario did not, um, you know, he went a certain way and his results weren't good, then you should at least know that if you do the same things that he did, then your results aren't going to be any better. You can't expect any better. So we need to be mindful of the people that we uh, follow after, that we um, even are close to, and look at the, the results of the actions of the results of their actions and see if those results are what we want to have in our lives. If it's not, then we shouldn't be following after them. So this king, since he's following after that other king which was evil and there wasn't a good result from him, then we can expect there's not going to be much good that's going to come forth out of this king too. But like I said, what we can use for, for ourselves is uh, being mindful of uh, the people that we follow after, that we look up to, and making sure that, you know, the things that you see coming into their life, the results of their actions, are things that you want to have happen in your life. If you want to, um, if you're single and you want to be married, then you look to someone else who has, who's married, that you admire their marriage and so forth, and you can adopt some of their patterns that they have. Um, like I said, you just look at the results of the people that you have, um, that you look up to. Look at their results, and then you can, um, you can actually really foretell some of the results that you'll have in your life as well too. So with that, that's what I got from this chapter. Well, not that from the first portion. There's other stuff as you read through. You'll see some things even with Elisha and um, with the king. And that was another lesson I got from that as well too. But I want you to read it for yourself. So create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today and we'll talk again tomorrow.